Hello, and welcome to the Orlando Health Jewett Orthopedic Institute Downtown Complex video series. My name is April Ernst, and I am your host for this series. Today, we are going to be talking to Dr. Michael Jablonski about the legacy that Dr. Eugene Jewett left behind. We're standing in the surgery center named after him, and we're going to learn all about his history in the community and what has propelled us to this day. So let's go on back and talk to Dr. Jablonski. Well, the Jewett Orthopedic Clinic was founded by Dr. Eugene Jewett. Uh, he was truly an amazing man. So he was born in New York. Um, he attended Cornell University and graduated in 1919 with a degree in chemical engineering. He worked as a chemical engineer but really was not inspired. So he asked family and friends to give him some finances and he attended Harvard Medical School and graduated in 1929. He went into orthopedic surgery but as a young man found that he had some early arthritic problems. Uh, certainly unfortunate for him but fortunate for us here in Central Florida. Uh, the reason why he moved to Central Florida and specifically Winter Park, Florida was to get out of the cold weather and to get into, into warmer weather because of his arthritic problems as a young man. So he founded the Jewett Orthopedic Clinic in 1936 and that's how we started and that's how we got our beginnings. Well, Dr. Jewett's life was really exceptional. Um, he had principles that he lived by that you know, we hope to emulate today. Um, he wanted to help his community, but help really the world as well. He wanted to be focused in research and education and also innovation. Back in the 1940s and 50s, hip fractures were more feared than cancer. If somebody broke their hip, fractured their hip, unfortunately, it was a very difficult time for them. So he developed the Jewett Orthopedic Hip Nail. It was the first intermedullary nail of its kind. Most of the fixation for fractures today are based on that nail. It literally saved hundreds of thousands of lives, not only in the United States, but around the world. So that invention was one that really changed the course of orthopedics. Every fixation device that we have for fractures of long bones is based upon the Jewett hip nail. So not only did he develop the hip nail, but he also developed the first hyperextension back brace, which is still utilized today. But those two inventions were miraculous. They changed orthopedics. They really are still used today in different forms but it saved hundreds of thousands of lives around the world. Not only was Dr. Jewett famous for these inventions, but also for his dedication to research and education. So he would teach physicians, certainly in our country, in Central Florida, but he felt that physicians around the world might not have the same opportunity for the same education. Even to this day, he's considered to be the father of orthopedics in the country of Columbia. But through the Jewett Foundation, which was founded by him and his wife, Dr. Ruth Jewett, who was one of the first female cardiologists in the, in the country, he was able to train physicians from not only here in our community, the United States, but around the world, particularly South America, at his own cost. But one of the things he was also very passionate about was taking care of people in his own community. On the weekends, he would get him and his nurses, and they had cars with extra machines in the trunk. And on the weekends, they would drive around the state of Florida, taking care of patients, particularly children, in their own home. He served on the USS Samaritan in World War II, receiving four bronze stars for valor. He was the chief of general surgery and the chief of orthopedics on the USS Samaritan. He was truly just an amazing man, not only giving in every way he could uh, with his inventions, his education, but really took a passion for taking, taking care of people in our own community. He donated his home to a local college of medicine and even at his death in the late 1980s, him and his wife both donated their bodies to science. I don't know more what one man could do to enhance orthopedic care, patient experience, and education than what he exhibited throughout his lifetime. <laughs>